Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to discuss about the improvements in the rural sanitation areas. So the topic has been taken from BPharm 6 semester Pharmaceutical Quality Assurance Unit 5. So when we talk about the rural sanitation program, we have to understand several schemes being launched by Government of India time to time to look after the sanitation programs in rural areas. If you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, my dear students, please do like, share and subscribe to ch my channel Pharmacypedia for getting important updates and content related to the pharmacy. So there are several schemes. Recently, you must have heard about the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. So this came way back in 2014. So it, the primary objective was to stop the practice of open defecation in the rural areas. If you talk about the history, the initiation for the Central Rural Sanitation Program initiated in the year 1986. So long way back, people did understand, government did understand the, the awareness about the sanitation of having good, good awareness about the cleanliness, hygiene, personal hygiene, so that one can prevent the spread and of the disease. But what happened was that people were not educated enough to understand the significant importance of being following this personal hygiene cleanliness in the rural areas. So like government schemes were not getting that much successful but uh, 10 years back again in 2000 six after the initiation of several uh, government schemes like Nirmal Bharat the things started coming up people did try understand and now the government also realized that to stop the practice of open defecation they have to like have the sponsorship for building up these toilets so that that is why the go with the government initiation and the help nowadays uh, the much improvement has taken in the sanitation part and the total sanitation campaigns is now being successful since fundings are being provided to the people living in the rural areas for the construction of the toilets. So like one can understand that individual health and hygiene is dependent largely on the availability of the clean water and sanitation. So two things are very important, clean water and sanitation. Therefore, a direct relationship between the water, sanitation and health is there. Now we need to make understand people about the linkage between the water, sanitation and the health. So uh, if you are being exposed to like having unsafe drinking water, improper disposal of the human excreta or improper high infant mortality rate is also attributed largely due to poor sanitation. So it was in this context that the Central Rural Sanitation Program CRSP was launched in the year 1986 with the primary objective of improving the quality of the life of rural people and also to provide privacy and dignity to the women. So talking further about the total sanitation concept, so it was being decided and objectives were set to prevent the disposal of human excreta by the poles, open ditches and bucket system. So today it, it connotes a comprehensive concept. So the, there is a proper way of disposing the liquid and the solid waste disposal systems, food hygiene, personal hygiene, domestic hygiene and, and environmental hygiene. So good sanitation practices prevent the contamination of water and the soil and therefore it prevents the disease. So the concept of sanitation is expanded to include the personal hygiene, home sanitation, safe water, garbage disposal, excreta disposal and water waste disposal. So keeping in view these facts, the Central Rural Sanitation Program was further improved upon. The revised approach in the program was titled as Total Sanitation Campaign and it emphasized more on information, education, communication, known as IEC, information, education, and communication, and also the human resource development, capacity development activities to increase the awareness and demand of generation for sanitary facilities. So now people did understand and they were enhancing the people capacity to choose appropriate options through alternate delivery mechanisms. So the main objectives of total sanitary campaign was to bring about the improvement, improvement in the quality of the life of the people living in the rural areas. 
also they emphasized on accelerating the sanitation coverage so the practice of open defecation was has to be eradicated completely from india and generating the demand for the sanitation facilities now how this demand was being generated through the awareness creation and providing health education in the rural areas they also targeted the primary schools whereby if the awareness was being uh, created by having adequate health checkup of scams at the school level to promote sanitary habits among the students so at the early age if the person learns about the value of the personal hygiene maintaining cleanliness and safe access to the clean water one can prevent themselves from the disease and they can further spread the same awareness and also it encourages the cost effective and appropriate technologies in sanitation talking further about the activities in included the initial publicity organizing camps conducting surveys and also preparing the district project proposals for seeking government assistance so in every rural areas rural sanitary complexes were being provided and they uh, the with the objective of creating awareness and good sanitary habits so the activities carried out under this component were actually area specific and uh, uh, they involved all sections of rural population so rural sanitary marts and sub production centers were being organized time to time now it deals with the material which are required for the construction of not only the sanitary toilets but also sanitary facilities for individuals families and the environment in the rural areas so the primary objective was to provide all sorts of the support as well as the guidance which were required for constructing different types of the toilets and other sanitary facilities and wherever technology interference was being required or financial assistance was being required they, it was also provided to the people living in the rural areas so production centers were the means to improve the production of cost effective affordable toilets then construction of the individual household toilets so duly completed household toilets were being provided with the support government intervention so in first phase the facilities were aimed at covering all the families which were living below the poverty line also referred to as the bpl so this facility of free of cost uh, access to the toilet was being initially launched for the people living in the below poverty lines apart from that subsidy disbursements were also and with the close support vision and monitoring and the construction activity so as to ensure sincere participation and full involvement of the community apart from that women sanitary complexes were being built up by these total sanitary campaigns and these complex were built in each and every village and were easily acceptable to the women so the maintenance of such complexes came under the purview of the gram panchayat so they looked after all the responsibilities of making the alternative arrangements at the village level so school sanitation health education is very important because we now understand that health sanitation and water access is required these days so children are the more receptive to, to new ideas so school was considered as an appropriate institute for changing their behavior for changing their mindsets and to stop and eradicate the open defecation systems being followed in the rural areas so the uh, the uh, ch small children were guided enough by following the cleanliness and the hygiene with the intervention of the teachers and their parents to adopt the good sanitary habits toilets were constructed in all the government schools primary schools upper primary and secondary and higher education schools then came in 2006 games the in 2012 was the last modification which was being done in the form of the nirmal bharat scheme so it was restructured and renamed as a nirmal bharat abhiyan so with the intention to transform india to nirmal bharat the scheme revised targeted for reaching the total sanitation from 2012 to 2022 you will be amazed to note that the sikkim was the first state in india which was 100% nirmal bharat scheme and the practice of open defecation was completely stopped in the sikkim then came the swachh bharat abhiyan recently uh, swachh bharat mission swachh bharat abhiyan or the clean india mission so this was again a country wide campaign initiated by government of india in the year 2014 and the primary aim was to eliminate the open defecation and improve the solid waste management 
in the rural areas. So phase one of the mission lasted till October 2019. Phase two is implemented from 2021 and 24 to 25. My dear students, now you are aware about all the total sanitary reforms being carried out in the rural areas from 1986 to 2020. So again, this was very important and with the help of the government interventions and several schemes to improve the life of the people, quality of the life of the people, they came a long way forward to improve the, uh, improve the image of India at the global level. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting important contents related to pharmacy. Thank you so much everyone.